It's no secret that pregnancy is an uncomfortable time with many aches and pains, particularly in the third trimester as your ligaments loosen and your body swells. Something I've been experiencing a lot is hip pain, particularly when I lie on my side in bed at night. So today I'm seeing my physiotherapist, John McCanch at Central Physio and Health in Surface Paradise, to talk about what could be causing this pain and what steps I can take to improve it. Hi Sylvie, how are you? Getting bigger and bigger every day. Look at the baby boy. Can't wait, yeah. I'm going to let y'all know you're here now. Okay, cool. Yes, you shouldn't be too far. Sylvie. Oh, John, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Well, one of the very common uh, conditions that uh, will can be seen, especially in the second and third trimester in pregnancy, is uh, what we call, in basic terms, hip bursitis. So, bursitis is basically um, an inflammation of the fluid that separates the muscles from the bones in mostly, and there's two big ones in our shoulder and also our hip, they're the main ones that get affected. So obviously as pregnancy progresses and things start to get a bit heavier and also the ligaments and our connective tissue in the body starts to loosen to let things expand. So what can sometimes happen is the muscles in the hips are under more duress and they have to work harder to keep the stability when we're walking, um, and moving around in general. Um, commonly with bursitis, it can be pain with walking, uh, pain with going up and down stairs, um, definitely pain when crossing your legs, um, and also lying directly on the side. Um, and what Suvi, Suvi has explained to me um, fits all of those categories. Um, so you know, before even testing Suvi, it's probably in my mind that we want to be looking for signs of bursitis. Um, so here I've got a diagram of basically where the bursa is on the side of the hip here. So you can see over here we've got the normal bursa in the middle here. That muscle there lying over the top is the glute med. Over here we've got the inflamed bursa. Okay, once that bursa gets inflamed, obviously due to the increased weight and the increased uh, flexibility of the ligaments and tendons in the during pregnancy, this muscle here stops working as well, okay, which causes more inflammation and more pressure on that bursa. Um, and that's why we obviously need to target strengthening the glute med, um, which is pictured there. So. Um, what we'll do is take Suvi through a couple of diagnostic tests um, to just rule in that this is what we're looking at and there's nothing more serious, um, which is from what Suvi said there doesn't seem to be, um, and we'll go from there. It's definitely worse when I've been active during the day as well, so I find. So the more you use the muscle, yes. the more that area is going to be inflamed. So yeah. in the mornings, it's probably not going to be as bad. No, it's And not. as you progress through the day, it's going to get more sore and sore. And when I lie on it at night, it's... So at the night is when it's going to be at its most <laughs> inflamed, and that's when you'll probably experience most of the pain. So, yeah, um, yeah typical behaviour for this injury. Yeah. Um, so one test I'll get Suvi to do is standing up in front of me and what we're going to do is a single leg balance okay. and what that's going to do is basically the muscle here in the picture is going to have to contract to keep you on one leg okay. and if we experience any pain um, that's a sign that potentially this bursa is, is, is aggravated. So. Um, what I'll get you to do is whichever leg first, and if you're standing on that leg yep. for me, I'll whichever just, one you want. I'll do the my right leg first. Yep, so knee right up in the air. Yep, balance is getting hard. So we see if yeah, balance is getting harder, do you feel any pain on yeah. that area at all? Yeah. Is it a dullish ache or is it more of a sharper pain? Oh, it's sort of a bit of a combination yep. of both. It's just just a general pain. Yeah, just hurting. Yep. Starting and you feel down. unsteady? Yes, I do. Cool. All right, down you go. So 10 to 15 seconds is usually enough to see if pain comes on yeah. and if there's any uh, you know issues with the balance. So onto your left leg now. Knee higher for me. There you go. That activates the muscle more. Yeah, I can feel it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's so more steady on this side. Yeah, it's a bit more steady. Yeah, and is it more pain or less pain? Maybe a tad less pain. I'm a little right. bit more steady here, but yep. but okay. no, it's starting to hurt. Yep, and then stopping there. Perfect. So right side maybe a little bit more effective, which is what you described to me. Um, yeah. So what we'll do now is, can I just get you to slip your sandals off for me quickly, yeah. and we'll go and lie you on your side here yep. on the bed. Uh, let's face this way. Okay. So straight legs for me if you can. Okay. And rolling right on your side so you're comfortable and straight legs. Yeah, there we go. So Subi, what we're going to do now is we're going to do uh, one of the tests uh, to find out if it is that bursa. I'm also going to have a feel around your hip and just make sure that the area is the one that you're feeling pain in. Yep. Um, so this test, what I'm going to get you to do is just keep your leg completely straight. Okay. All right. And you're going to lift it up in the air straight towards my hand. Okay. Can you do that for me now? Is that oh, hard work? Yes, it is. It's really Okay, so hard, before I even apply resistance, it's already hard work yes, it and is. it's painful yes, in it that is. area. Yeah. Because I'm just going to have a palpate. Oh, that is definitely tender there. Yeah. So right there, that's where that bony part <laughs> of the hip is, and that's where the bursa yes. lies underneath where my fingers are there. So out of 10, how tender is that? Um, Probably between, or oh, probably six. Eight, maybe. An eight, yeah, okay, so we we're thinking that it might be fairly inflamed. Yeah, that's um, pretty sore when you press. Yeah, yep, so uh, we've done that one. Do you just want to roll over on the other okay. side for me? Is that yep, right. sweet? Oh, oh I guess it's hard. <laughs> there we go. The ligaments really hurt too, like you Straight know, around, leg. around ligaments here, like they. Oh. Yeah. Nice straight leg for me. Yeah. Roll your hips forward slightly. There we go. And lifting your leg up towards my hand. Yeah, that hurts there. That hurts? Yeah. Right. In the same spot? Yeah. Right there? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we know that the bursa is definitely the thing that's causing the pain when we activate the muscle around the bursa it causes pain um, so we can pretty much just jump straight into giving Susie the appropriate exercises for uh, hip bursitis. So we'll go through the first one because it's in this position. Okay, okay yeah. do you remember it? Clam. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to demonstrate it and we'll yeah. fix it up? It's hard though because like uh, you're supposed to feel it in your glute, aren't you? Right deep in the glute, yeah. But I, I then start feeling pain here yeah. in my hip. So, so what that's you telling me is that you're recruiting muscles yeah, that the you wrong shouldn't ones. be. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we'll run through it and I'll make sure that you can really feel it okay. in the right muscle. So be when you have pain in an area, that muscle that's causing the pain doesn't want to work. Right. That's called pain inhibition. So okay. pain causes the muscle to not get activated and use other areas. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So it's a little bit of like mem mus uh, sorry, mind control over your muscle that we're practicing. Okay, yeah. All right, so I think we gave you ones with the towel in between the knees, didn't oh, we? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So I've been using a pillow. That's fine, whatever you want, yep. just to have that little bit of raise of that knee. I want you to roll your hips forward. Yeah. That's it, slight arch in the back. Okay. So slight arch, perfect, there we go. All right, and what we're going to do now is I'm going to hold your hip here and I'd like you to just lift your leg into my hand. Well, that's already feeling more in my glute now that you've put me in the right position. Yeah. So it's hard at home to get into the right position. Well, that's why every time yeah. you come to the physio, we do the same exercise. Because 99, not 99, but 8 out of 10 times, there'll be something you can fix. So yeah. we're coming up to about 10 reps now. Are you feeling like there's like a, sort of like a corkish sort of muscle working feeling yeah. in your glute? Yeah, yeah. See, we're glute. starting to struggle to get to the hand now. <laughs> yeah, my glutes. Yeah. So glutes are on fire. <laughs> yes, they are. That's definitely activated Sweet. them. Sweet. So that's yeah. our first exercise. Get you to do that, you know, 10 to 15 on both sides. Okay. okay a couple of times a day. Yeah. The next one I want to go through, um, you, you, you like lying on your back or no? no? I can lie on my back to do exercises for sure. Yeah. Okay. You're just not meant to lie on your back for too long. Yeah. Um, let's do, let's do the sit to stand one. I'll take okay. you through it. Yep. Okay. So if you want to sit up there. Yep. <clears throat> 
So we use the bed because we can change the heights of it. Yeah, sure. Okay, so yeah. sitting on the edge of the bed. Yeah. I'll demonstrate sort of in my chair for oh, you. Oh, I can stand now. I'm not, I'm not, oh, yeah. yeah I can so this one here, what we're going to do is we're actually going to bias one leg. Okay. Okay, so to do that, sitting right on the edge, we're going to put one foot flat and the other foot's just going to be sort of 50% on the toe. Okay. Yeah, so the foot that's flat is going to be doing most of the work. Okay. Okay, so what I want you to do is standing up mostly through that left side, but the, the left side, uh, the right side has got your toe just touching on the ground. Oh, right, okay. So see how you go from that height. If you need to use your hands, it means we're too low. All right. Does that make sense? There we go. Oh, yeah, I can do it. Good. And down. So what's this exercise called? This is called a, well, what we call a sit to stand, but oh, we're, sit to stand. Yep. we're biased sit to stand. So okay. left side biased sit to stand. So it's to use your left hip more than your right. Oh, I get it. Yeah. And then what we're going to do after that is swap. So you'll do it the other way. So 10 on this side and then 10 on the right side. Oh yeah, that does definitely can work. Can you that. feel the left yes. side of the hip working more? <laughs> yes, I can. Perfect. Keep going and let me know when you start to feel that muscle tired feeling, yeah? Muscle fatigue. I'm already feeling already. it. Already? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remembering we were, yes, we were working your left hip just before in claims as well, so it's probably already fatigued. So what I'll get you to do now is just jump onto your right leg, so okay. right leg flat. Oh yeah. And left toe touching. Oh yeah. Yep. And off you go. So, good. Yeah, I can do it a bit easier on this side. Yeah, the muscle's not tired yet. Mm, yeah. It's fresh. Cool. And plus, I am a bit better on my right side, I think. With you this think? One. With this one, I am, it seems. With or, this one? Yeah, with the maybe, single leg balance, it looked like the left was better. Yeah, although, having said that, I'm already starting to get tired and I've already done a few years. So. I've done four, yeah. yeah. So, I want to get to ten, five. And doing it with great control and good pace, not too fast, not too slow, it's perfect. Yeah. Oh, it's so hard though, like, you forget how hard pregnancy is, it's really hard on your body. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's a big boy, he's over two kilos now, and he's just, I've right. got a lot of fluid. <laughs> mm. So. you got two more of these. Oh. And I might just show you one more after that. Okay. See the shortness of breath coming yeah, out, so it's yeah, starting to work yeah. up. Last yeah, one. I'm definitely feeling it now. That's really sore now. Good, and have a rest. Oh. Physios can be hard. Sore hard on the hips. Sore on the hips. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. Out of ten, it's nothing more than around a six or a seven. Yeah, yeah probably about a six or a seven. Like, I, like I'm not in agony or anything. No, that's but probably the max that we want to. Yeah. Um, let that area get to. But it definitely feels like I've worked it, which yeah. is good, obviously. Yeah. So what we're going to do now is what we call a wall push, or okay. single leg wall push. So we're going to stand on our outside leg from the wall, lifting our inside leg up, get as close to the wall as you can, and we're going to be pushing into the wall with our inside leg, just gently, and you should feel your opposite hip start to work. Okay, yep. And you'll just hold that pressure into the wall for about 10 seconds and then you'll relax, let it recover, alright? Yep. We'll do that five times. Whatever you start to feel like it's getting too much, okay. that's how many we'll do. Do you want to have okay. a go at yeah, it? So you yeah. can stay there. Okay, yep. Go as close to the wall as you can. Yeah, I'll copy you. you show yeah, me you put your inside leg up. This one up? Yep. And you're just pushing it into the wall come closer to the wall there you go and if you just push just gently into the wall with that leg oh, do you yeah. feel that line up there yes you do I do perfect yeah and you really do stop yep. actually I'm almost feeling that in my glute more than the clams to be honest that's it yeah that's so a there's really a couple of different ones there. that I'm going to give you yeah. yeah so no not much pain no, but it, it feels like the muscle's working. Good. Like so this basically. one is what we call isometric because we're not actually moving the muscle, whereas yep. with the sit to stance, you're moving your hips. So that's okay. why you might have felt a little bit more pain, whereas this one, the hip's stationary yep. and not moving. But I exactly feel it in my glute. Yep. Like, there's no question. Right, like. so this is a great <laughs> exercise for you then, yeah? So, okay, so you might do five 
come closer. So you need to be yeah. almost just like touching, oh, the wall. Yeah. like actually lean against the wall and then okay. push. And then push. Don't it. don't lean against it. Just touch it. There yeah. you go, and then yeah. push out with that leg. Yeah, and you should feel that. Yes, I do. Yeah, I can actually feel it tightening. Yeah. Excellent. Oh, that's cool. a good one. Thank yeah, you. That'll be really the three that, yeah. that I would um, get you doing. Okay, yep. Now, with this and injury, um, it is oh, cool. also um, important that we give you the right amount to do because you okay. can overdo it with muscle injuries. Yep, yep. Um, and when you overdo it, you don't want to inflame the bursa more. You're going to have more night pain. We don't want that. So, Su Suvi, I'm going to give you exercises now. I'll write them down on a sheet of paper for you. Yeah, thank uh, you. I want them done once a day. Yeah. Okay, and then preferably in the mornings when you're not sore, the muscles are fresh, you haven't been using them all day. And, and when my stomach's not too full, so I can actually get on the ground. All that sort of thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. well, uh, the, other, the only one you'll be the clams where you can you do on the bed. Okay, you don't yeah. need to do them on the ground. You can okay. do them on the bed, and then the other two um, are standing. So, the first one is the clams. Yeah. Okay, so we went through that with the pillow between your knees. Yeah. I'm going to get you to do two lots. Okay. Okay, of 10 to 15 reps. Okay. All right, so you can pick which, how many reps you do, depending on how you're feeling, but try and get to at least 10. On each side. Yeah, obviously. on each side, definitely. We're working both. And then the second exercise is the sit to stand. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to write in brackets bias one side. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'll remember. So bias one side means one foot's flat and the other one's sort of got on the toe only. Yeah. All right, I want you to do two lots, once again, of 10 to 15 reps. Yeah. At 10 reps when we tested you, you started to feel yes, the muscle. Yes, I did, yeah. Um, so start at 10, in a couple of weeks time when you come back, hopefully doing 15 pretty well. Okay, yeah. All right. And number three is the single leg wall push. Yeah. I really appreciate the single wall push because the clamps is hard. I mean, when you were putting me in the right position, yep. I could activate my glutes. Mm. But that one has been tricky at home to activate. Whereas that one, yeah, it's immediately easier. felt it in yeah, my glutes. Yeah, it's easier. Yeah, the yeah. clamps, you need to get everything sort of right and in the right position yeah. to feel it properly. Yeah. It's very easy to cheat in it. It's why a lot of physios <laughs> don't. It's why a lot of physios don't prescribe it. It's because it can be done wrong so easily. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Yeah. And uh, my body definitely cheats. Anything to get out of pain. It does, yeah, <laughs> so. it does. Um, so single leg wall push, we're going to do five lots of the 10 second hold. Yep. All right. But see, the single wall leg push then shows me exactly which muscle which I should. Muscle? And so then when I'm doing the clams, if I'm not activating that muscle, you I'll know, know that, that yes, yeah, exactly. I'll know that I'm not doing it right. Yeah. 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 So that muscle um, is the one that we were working a lot with you, um, with your lower back pain stuff and yes. your sciatica yeah. is the glute med. So yeah. it's that, that main stabilizer of the hip, uh, which is where we want to feel the burn in. Okay. Yeah. And that's right where you were pointing up on the top of that sort of side hip area. Yeah, we love the burn. And that's it. I want your glutes burning. If they're yes, not burning, you're doing them. <laughs> they do burn. I'll give that to you. Thank eh? you so much. That's all right. Well, thank you so much, John, for seeing me today. And it is so good to have a name to the pain, basically, because, um, yeah, like you sort of have a better understanding of what's going on in your body. And I, I think it's empowering to be able to then go home and do these exercises to help alleviate some of the inflammation in your hips. Like it makes you feel good to, to actually, you, you can be proactive about it basically and just help yourself. Absolutely. In that sense. Yeah. Education is our most powerful tool. So um, now you know what's wrong, now you know what to do. Yeah. Um, and obviously these exercises will have to be done throughout the pregnancy and also after the pregnancy to re-strengthen all the muscles that, um, because obviously the ligaments and connective tissue don't tighten up straight away. Oh. It takes a bit of a while, but um, eventually you'll get your strength back and uh, it should be all good. Thank you so much. All right, no worries. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> well, thank you so thank much. Thank you, Sylvie. He's a legend. Yes. So I'll try and book in in another couple of weeks. And, yes. Um, and then oh. once Spencer's born, I'll come all, up again. All the best, baby boy. We can't thank wait you. to meet him. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to meet Spencer. Well, have a good one. Thank you. Enjoy. We'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>